We would like to tell you about a new type of material for root canal filling, Vitapex, which has been making incredible selling records in our local market. Vitapex is a soft type calcium hydroxide paste developed by Professor Ishikawa of Tokyo Dental College. More than 10 dental schools have studied its clinical and pathological merits, not only in the pedodontic field, but also in the endodontic one. Now we would like to introduce you to the equipment. It is stored in a black colored case to avoid discoloration from sunlight. Here are the flexible polypropylene syringe and the aluminum plunger. The free angle holder, the stopper and the protective silicone rubber cap. Here are some of its clinical advantages. First of all, we point out that the main active ingredient is calcium hydroxide for cementum bridge formation. The complete list of active ingredients is as follows. Next, radiopacity has been greatly improved in comparison with conventional type root canal filler because of the idle form dispenser which is also effective as an antiseptic. Take a look at an x-ray film. This film shows you the excellent radiopacity. Thirdly, no spatulating or stirring is necessary. Vitapex is prepared pre-mixed and no chemical or physical reactions can arise for years. Moreover, it is available for use as economically as possible because the paste is packed in a flexible polypropylene syringe. Save your clinical time with Vitapex. The aluminum plunger allows you complete accuracy with minimal effort. You have enough paste in one syringe for 50 fillings. As you know, silicone oil plus other oily agents keep this paste at an optimal consistency. The chemical stability and bone morphogenic properties of silicone oil have been proven by many experiments. The easy accessibility of the paste into the root canal is yet another advantage. Last of all, Vitapex produces good effects in periapical portions. An excellent prognosis can be expected within a few months. We will now show you some experimental cases from pathological investigations. These photos are from dog teeth specimens. This is an untreated case. A part of the pulpal horn was intentionally exposed and left open for a month. Only amalgam restoration into the cavity was performed after root canal irrigation. You can notice chronic inflammation and periapical portions and polypus along the root canal wall. This is a treated case three months after root canal irrigation and Vitapex filling. You can see the cementum bridge around the periapical areas without any foci or lesions. This figure shows that the lesion has healed up during the initial stages and then recalcification has arisen. Let us demonstrate Vitapex use in a typical clinical situation. During pulpectomy, the root canal orifice is first enlarged with Piso's powered reamer for hand reaming and filing.
then irrigated with sodium hypochlorite solution and saline solution and finely dried in the routine manner. Next, the working length is measured and then the root canal is prepared. Apical step formation should be excluded from this procedure. The apical seat is formed about one millimeter up from the root apex with a file of more than number 40 diameter. This procedure is an important key to success in Vitapex root canal filling. Then the root canal is irrigated in the conventional method. In our country, a 10% sodium hypochlorite solution such as NeoCleaner and a barbed brooch are used more than twice during and after root canal enlargement. After that, don't forget to clean up with saline solution and barbed brooch, please. With the root canal irrigation completed, you should proceed to root canal drying by absorbing paper point. Then, picking up the Vitapex syringe out of the black colored case, wipe all surfaces of the syringe with cotton gauze dipped in alcohol. 